Um, welcome to the 2019 Tile Product Launch and Marketing Initiatives webinar. Um, I'm Marianne Cox, and I'm here with Diego Chavez. Hello, everyone. Good morning. And we're excited to talk to you today about the launch for 2019 and some marketing initiatives to support the launch and some other things that will uh, be very important for you. So what we're going to talk about today is, as I mentioned, the launch, the marketing launch support. But we're going to jump in and see some new marketing materials that we've recently communicated or are becoming available soon and then talk about display initiatives for 2019. So first thing we're gonna do is jump into the tile launch and I'm gonna turn it over to Diego. All right, so good morning again, everybody. Uh, we're happy to be here yet again. Time really flew all this year and uh, time again to talk about new introductions. So uh, this year and the way we're gonna do this webinar is we have it separated by time frame. Different items are gonna come in at different times of the year, and that's the order in which we're gonna be discussing each item here on the webinar. So first, the first block of introductions is gonna come in March, and that is basically all of our floor tile introductions. We're gonna go into each one of them uh, in a few seconds here. Uh, the series are going to be called Catalina, Construct, and Gosford Park. April, May, and, and we will get you a more concrete um, ETA or, or introduction date as we have it, but for now, this is what we're uh, working with, and that is our very much needed and very much expected update of our glass and decorative tile package. Uh, these series are going to be called Brilliance, uh, there's a tile, and then there's a mosaic, foundation, impression, and waterford mosaics. Again, I'll go into each one of these here in a few seconds. The last part is going to be coming in June, and this is due to um, time frames needed for development and so on. Gamut is also a very much expected and very much needed uh, four by 16 wall tile that some of you, um, or, or that we already talked about with some of you. And then Luminous is another item of our uh, glass uh, decorative items. So first we're gonna talk about March, then April, May, and for this webinar in particular, we're not gonna be discussing the June introductions. We're gonna be doing that at a later date once we have more details and a more accurate uh, launch uh, timeframe. So let's go into the first part and that is our floor tile introductions. Before we go into the first collection here, uh, I just wanna talk about something that we've identified as the, the major trends in all of our markets. Uh, and it's, it's also the, the starting point uh, for a lot of these new collections. And so a couple of things really uh, caught our attention this year or this time around when we did our benchmark and market assessments. And that is the fact that color seems to be taking on a much more important role these days. Uh, it used to be, or in previous years, when we would talk to you guys or your customers, we, we would ask, hey, what are the main looks or what are the main things that people are going for these days? And in previous years, the reply to that was always, oh, people are going for the travertines nowadays, or people are doing a lot with white marbles or wood, you know, it, it would always uh, reference a look in particular that uh, was the hottest thing in the market. Nowadays, or this time around, when we ask that question to both our sales teams and our customers, the response or the, the main reply was, people are going for warm grays, people are going for ivories, people are doing a lot with topes. So, the reply to that question was always having to do with color and not so much having to do with looks in particular. So in, in 
by looking into that trend, we identified that nowadays tile is becoming more of a, uh, a, a nicely colored surface on which to anchor the rest of the interior design. And for that reason, the specific colors that we develop for these uh, lines need to be uh, very well taken care of. But also the overall design of these collections uh, nowadays needs to be a little more minimalistic or, or less dramatic. So part one of our trends would be colors. Part two would be the fact that people seem to be going for less dramatic designs, less uh, busy um, interpretations of some of the things that we've done in the past. So this collection in particular, Catalina, the inspiration is a crosscut travertine, you know, a classic time-tested design, but with a couple of differences. First, the color palette is a little more subtle, more in the neutral tones. You could even consider this collection a, uh, a collection of different whites. So you have shell and pebble, which are basically an ivory or ivory white in the case of shell and more of a grayish white in the case of pebble. And then sandbar is a very light taupe. So along with that color palette, we paid a lot of attention to the visual or the graphic of, of this line because again, we learned that people are not necessarily wanting all that drama in, in their uh, floors nowadays. So if you notice here, the look and the visual is uh, much more muted, more minimalistic, but it still has the character of uh, Travertine. Catalina is uh, very straightforward, focused on residential applications, and for the most part, uh, a lot of our builder customers are gonna appreciate this, and that's why we went with this size combination. It comes in a 12 by 24, 20 by 20, and a 13 by 13. This is all glazed, non-rectified porcelain, and it is manufactured by us, so price point, service, availability is, is all gonna be pretty fantastic um, for your customers. Uh, along with these sizes, we are also giving Catalina a full mosaic and trim package. So the mosaic here, we went, uh, we didn't go too fancy. We went with a two by two mosaic, mesh mounted on a 12 by 12 sheet. Uh, we know that the two by two is still the preferred format for installers and, and um, contractors doing shower floors and all these different applications because it's easy to cut, it's easy to do gratings, it's a very simple, straightforward mosaic. So for this collection, we decided not to complicate things and just go with a two by two. Uh, it also comes with a three by 12 bull nose, six by 12 code base, and then the one by six corners. All of these are now, as you all know, digital. So coordination between the trim pieces and the field tile is gonna be closer than it was before when the process was used or done using decals. Uh, and then all of these sizes or all of this collection does meet the DCOF rating. It actually surpasses the, the 0.42, so it, can definitely cross over into commercial applications if, if that's needed. Uh, availability for these items, uh, I'm going to talk about it here. Um, as we discussed, the, the full official launch is going to be uh, April? March. March, sorry, March. That is the time when all marketing materials all catalog pages, every, every item is gonna be available, but uh, there is inventory already in our warehouse of the 12 by 24, 20 by 20, and 13 by 13, all colors for this collection. And all of these will be shown at the winter market. So 
If anybody needs samples that they want to show to a customer or they just want to take a look at it in person, uh, you guys can already go ahead and order these. Uh, we have, or we're finishing up uploading items or SKUs to the system so that you can do that. And so here are a couple of room scenes. Uh, it's also something that we're working on this year in, in giving you guys better and better room scenes. So as you can see here, these look pretty nice. Uh, and they are meant to replicate the spaces that they're going to go in uh, as close as possible. So uh, we have a mixture of commercial, residential, all kinds of room scenes here. The one in the, the one with the largest picture shows the 12 by 12, 13 by 13s. Sorry, top right shows the 20 by 20s, and then bottom right shows the 12 by 24. So just a, uh, a small example of the types of room scenes that we're going to be providing for this collection. Next up, we have a collection that we are calling Construct. This is a cement look, but again, just like I mentioned with Catalina, a uh, couple of things that make this collection unique is the color palette and the the soft look to it. So even though this is a cement, uh, you could even call it a, a bit of a cement stucco fusion because the design is very linear. It doesn't have that uh, splotchy or, or circular nature that some cements have. This is more of a, just a linear soft design. And then the color palette is also uh, very warm, but very neutral. So we have a, a, a very nice white, silver, taupe, and then a couple of accent colors, uh, polar night, which is dark graphite, and then blue voltage, which is something that we're doing this year. We're being a little more uh, bold on our accent colors. It's, it's us trying to innovate and provide your customers some added value. And so this is a very nice deep blue tone that we developed for this collection that you really have to see it in person because um, it, it really, the darkness and the richness of the color makes it very, very usable in a lot of uh, applications. So it's not too crazy of a color. It's great because it can go blue, but kind of blue-gray as well, depending on the install and the lighting. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, talking about color, we definitely see the color palette going warmer these days. Uh, that seems to be the direction that customers and the industry in, in general, interior design in general, is, is taking. So all of these colors do have a warmer nature to them. Uh, they can combine very well in between them. But also, like Marianne said, uh, just depending on the rest of the decor, uh, they can really go well with different types of paint colors, wood colors, uh, different materials. So Construct uh, has two sizes, 18 by 36 and 12 by 24. This is also glazed, non-rectified porcelain manufactured by Inner Ceramic. So as you'll see here, uh, 18 by 36 porcelain is also a first for us. We came out with the 18 by 36 Durabody size last year in Quartzite. This time around, we are making it in a porcelain because we do see this size as the as a little step up in, in, in size, but not all the way to 24 by 48 which in a lot of our markets, it's still a size that's not easy to install. Uh, the contractors don't, don't yet like to work with it. So we see 18 by 36 as, you know, a nice step in that larger direction, but still within the realm of what's um, feasible, easy to, easier to install. So 18 by 36, 12 by 24, uh, Construct also has a full trim and decorative package. The mosaic that we did here, given the design and the nature of, of this collection, we went with uh, this design that we're calling Intersect. It's basically a, a, a set of triangles that we're mesh mounting on a sheet. It's 12 by 12. 
You can actually see it in the back of this room scene here on the backsplash. The thing we like about this mosaic is that it's very dynamic. You can cut it, uh, tear the sheet apart to create squares, diagonals, list cells, uh, anything you or your customer may need, uh, you can do with this mosaic. And then the design, the, the intersecting lines go really well with the visual of, of this cement. So uh, a very nice addition to our mosaic offering. Yeah, I think it's one of those very much like the wheelhouse. It can yeah. be changed and different um, grouts will give it a completely different look. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of those where you can throw in a nicely colored grout and it'll definitely change the, the whole appearance. Um, so Construct also has a 3x12 bull nose, 6x12 coat base, and then the 1x6 corners. The, the surface or the texture in both Catalina and Construct uh, is also something that we paid a lot of attention to this time around because we received some feedback that some of our glazed porcelains had uh, a very rustic appearance, but also that the surface was a bit too shiny for the customer's taste. And so these two are a very nice matte, non-shiny finish, but also um, to the point where they're smooth enough, uh, where they're easy to clean. So when you see them in person, you'll notice that uh, we really worked on our textures this time around. And availability for these items, as far as the inventory, uh, 12 by 24 has been produced and it is already in CDC. Again, we're finishing up uploading the SKUs and, and setting up on the system so that you can order them. 18 by 36 is gonna begin production next Monday. Uh, that is, uh, is that the 21st? Uh, Monday the 17th, yes. Uh, 18 by 36 begins production Monday the 17th of December. So give it a week or two and it'll be here uh, so that you can start taking in or placing orders for samples and, and so on. Both of these will be shown at the winter market as well. So here are a couple of room scenes. Uh, we have a very nice combination of the ghost white with one of our Union Square items just to show the types of designs that you can do with this. Uh, we also have on the right hand side one of our uh, one of our room scenes showing the blue. Uh, this is a very good representation of, of the shade of blue that this will have. So as you can see here, um, it's really not that uh, crazy of a blue. So very much usable in, in large installations. Bottom left has the taupe, uh, and then bottom right shows you a close-up of the intersect mosaic that um, we just talked about. So next up, we have a collection that we're calling Gosford Park. Uh, this is our wood introduction for 2019, and it really goes along the same lines of what uh, we talked about with the previous two introductions, the fact that color palette is very specific here, and then the design too is toned down um, with regards to previous wood introductions that we've done. So overall, the inspiration for Gosford Park is a hand-stained uh, hardwood, but with a minimalistic or, or a more consistent design. We have six colors here for Gosford Park. We're calling it Cloud, Dawn, Smoke, Midnight, Foliage, and Storm. So Cloud and Dawn are very light. Uh, you could think about, think of them as a very light ivory and a very light brown. Smoke and Midnight would be your grays, uh, light gray, dark gray. Storm is a very rich, very nice uh, brown color. And then Foliage is a, Pretty unique accent color. It's a bluish green or a greenish blue, depending on how you want to look at it. But um, just like with Construct, the nature of all of these colors is warmer. So 
they do coordinate very well together. And again, uh, they also coordinate very well with some of the uh, color schemes that are on trend as far as interior design goes. Uh, the size here is also brand new for inner ceramic, uh, 8 by 40 glazed porcelain non-rectified. And this is manufactured by inner ceramic, so you can expect price point to be pretty fantastic. Uh, not to be confused with our current 8 by 40 rectified, which uh, comes from another vendor. This is 8 by 40 non-rectified. Uh, manufactured by Inner Ceramic. Also with Gosford Park, we paid a lot of attention to the surface, the finish, and the texture so that it was not uh, overly shiny or glossy. And this obviously also meets DCOF, so perfectly suitable for commercial applications. And here are a couple of room scenes. Uh, we have a very nice office space on the top uh, right corner, very, very nice bathroom. Uh, so like we've been doing in the past years, uh, a combination of different applications so that your customer can see all that can be done with these products. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the marketing support now for phase one. The first thing we're gonna do is look at the um, individual elements uh, for each series. Um, and the first thing we're going to take a look at, which will look pretty different to you, are the, the display sample boards. Um, we are taking a different, um, uh, different look at how to show product on our sample board. So uh, we've been doing a lot of research over the past six months or so to figure out really, it started with the conversation of all of our wood collections that really don't show well on the sample board and that transitioned into if it were it worked so well with the wood series uh, let's take a look at all of our other collections that really have a lot of variation or would lend well to this more of a concept board layout so we are kicking off this new concept with the launch um, in in march with catalina construct and gosford park you'll see that for those series that have mosaics we are incorporating mosaics into the design because we understand that it's important to see the mosaic in order to sell it. So we'll choose a feature color. These are not final. Um, these are just uh, for the presentation today. Uh, really, the only one that will probably change is Gosford. We're gonna um, change that feature color to smoke. Um, but uh, there will be a feature color and then all the remaining colors will be in um, small swatches to the right. In addition, um, each series will, of course, get a design board, the postcard, and something that's new that we're going to be communicating very soon are loose tile labels. So we'll talk about these later in the presentation in more detail, but each of these series will have loose tile labels for your customers that show loose samples in their showrooms. So from a Timing perspective, these are also going to be available in March along with um, all of the um, launch materials and launch pack out kits that we can start talking about right now. So the phase one launch kit, um, as Diego mentioned, will align with um, uh, a phase launch approach. So even though all of the material, the inventory is available or coming available over the next few weeks, you know, this is when we just get started on the marketing side. So this is where we start creating, and once the material is ready, we start creating all of the renderings and the room scenes, and we get everything ready, and we have to wait for testing information. So um, it's critical that we always stress that just because the material is available in inventory, it does not mean that we can immediately have marketing support available at that time. So that's why the full scheduled launch is in March, our goal, of course, is to get it out sooner if possible, but right now we are looking at an early March for phase one um, launch for tile. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. So what that looks like from a display standpoint is you have 11 boards coming out. You have Cato, uh, Mode, Pietro Castel Slate, Prime, La Travonia, Oakwood, and Scenic are all drops. So those boards will be completely removed and thrown away. Structura and Marbury are coming out due to the color drops. 
And then Montpelier technically will come out because we're going to replace it with an updated board that has the new color. So going into the display in March, you'll have six boards, Catalina, Construct, Gosford Park. We're planning or hoping to have a new subway backslash board, and this is really just to, to really focus on the wall tile as a subway backslash option. So the concept here is to show the 3 by 6 and the 3 by 12 in full samples and then offer a neutral color palette to call out the more um, uh, popular items that would be used on a backsplash. So that we're hoping to get that into the March kit. It may follow later, but it's the plan right now. So then we'll put Marbury back in and we'll add Structura to the Marbury board. So it'll be a combined board. And then Montpelier will go back in to replace um, the old Montpelier board. And then we will have labels available in the kit for the geologic boards that have some miscellaneous drops in that series. So that's what the phase one launch kit looks like. Um, in addition to the launch kit for the new series, um, as, as you can see now, we've, and as I mentioned earlier, we are updating all of our wood boards to this new concept. And these are the series, really Forrester, Black Forest, Amazonia, those are the series that really um, prompted this view and how can we show wood better. So we are transitioning these nine boards over to this new concept. We are going to uh, produce a limited number of launch, collated launch kits that are going to be available along with the phase one launch. And these, are, these kits are going to be designed to go into your more um, profitable customers or your more important customers, and we will follow up with branch managers and wholesale managers with the quantities that are going to be designated for each um, region. And then it'll be your job to be very selective into which customers get these boards. So uh, it's also important to know that moving forward in 2019 for display packouts, the, new, the wood boards will have these looks in those packouts. When it comes to individual board inventory, as those boards are depleted, they will then transition into this new look. Once they do transition into this new look, it is not, a, um, it is not an indicator to update every display in your region. Again, be very, very selective as to who gets these. Obviously, they're much more expensive, um, and it's not something that we can um, manage with a complete rollout or a complete changeover. So more information will be coming to you in regards to the tile launch phase one, as well as the wood series board updates soon. So with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Diego to talk about phase two. All right. So now let's talk about the second set of introductions, and that would be the update to our glass and decorative mosaic packages. So first off, we're going to talk about a series or a collection called Brilliance. This collection is meant to be our new base uh, glass and glass mosaics collection. Uh, as I mentioned before, it was much needed because we really haven't done anything to our existing lines, our shimmer and glacique, and some of the colors, designs, and the items in general were a little bit dated. So. This was, a, again, a very much needed refresh. The approach or the mindset that we are, are taking here in updating our glass collection is we know that there are vendors that specifically focus on only decoratives. So yes, they will have perhaps more colors, more shapes, more uh, or, or different Nietzsche items than us but we really want to focus on the volume sellers and the core package because everything you will see here we are 100 percent committed with inventory availability quality service so you can expect to have no shortages of supply of all these items whereas um, if we were to take a a more broad approach and try to get a lot of more of those decorative packages, we wouldn't be, or niche decorative items, we wouldn't really be able to service them. So as you'll see here, the package is uh, concise, but really, in our opinion, and we did reach out to 
a lot of you to validate this. Uh, it, it has the main components needed, uh, and it can also serve as a base on on which to grow if in the future we require extra colors or a couple extra shapes here and there. So with that said, our new glass package is going to be called Brilliance, and these are the colors here, white, taupe, gray, and graphite as the neutrals, and then blue and teal as the accents. The room scene here shows uh, the blue color, so you can see how very nice uh, it coordinates with white here, but also it can go with uh, different colors of interior design. Uh, this is another room scene showing a couple of the shapes uh, because Brilliance, and I'm going to skip right here, uh, consists of two parts. One would be the individual pieces. Uh, they're going to come in 3x6 and 3x12. So we realize that rectangles are very hot right now, and we're upgrading the rectangle offering by adding the 3x12 size, which we didn't have before. Uh, both of these tile, loose tile pieces come both in glossy and matte. So the combination of finishes is also something that designers are doing a lot these days, and we felt that we needed to have that or be able to offer that. So Brilliance Glass comes in 3x6, 3x12, white, taupe, gray, graphite, blue, teal, both glossy and matte and it also comes in mosaics. So with the mosaic shapes, we paid attention to shapes that were easy to cut, easy to install, not too complicated, again, so that we could have uh, volume driver uh, or volume driving items. Uh, we have two shapes that combine finishes, so there will be offered in a mixture of glossy and matte. That is the two by four stacked and the linear. I'm gonna go back real quick because we have room scenes of both. The back wall here shows the linear in white. And then this close up of this backsplash shows the two by four stacked. The reason why we gave these two shapes the mixture of finishes is because these two are the shapes that we've seen in the market before or they have been available the longest. They are less complicated, they're, they're more basic shapes, but they're nonetheless still very much needed. So we wanted to give them a little added value, uh, making them, you know, making them a little more modern. And for that reason, we went with the, the different finishes for these shapes. So again, these two, the two by four stacked and the linear are only going to be available with the, the mixed finish. From there on, we have a couple of uh, uh, new standard modern shapes, which are chevron and herringbone. Chevron and herringbone are going to be all glossy. So overall, we, we have a combination of different shapes, different finishes, different designs uh, that your customers can use. As far as price point, that's something that we also looked at, and we wanted to offer uh, different levels of prices. So the 2x4, the linear, and the herringbone are going to be priced uh, very competitively. You will see we will be sending out uh, price sheets uh, here in the next couple of weeks so that you can see the price point of all of these items. But I can tell you now, 2x4, linear, and herringbone are, are going to be at a different price point than Chevron. Chevron requires a different manufacturing process to be able to get those uh, angles. And so for that reason, this one is a little more expensive, but overall we have a little bit of everything to offer to our customers. The next collection that I'm gonna show you is called Waterford Mosaics. Uh, this is a look that is also very much on trend right now, and that is the handmade tile look. We took our first uh, stab at, at this look with our Emma collection, which has been very well received and, and very successful so far. 
So we really needed that same look in our mosaics or our decoratives, and so this would be it. Waterford also has four different colors, white, taupe, sage, and blue. So again, going with a couple of the neutrals that are going to be everybody's go-to, but then also a, a couple of nice accent colors in the sage and the blue. The, the palette here, as we discussed, is also on the warmer side of the spectrum. That's where the trend is nowadays, so you can expect these colors to really coordinate and blend really well with the current paint colors, uh, wall covering colors, furniture, so on, cabinet colors, and all of that. The shapes here are also interesting. We did a four inch hexagon. Uh, we, we're doing a two by four beveled. We're doing a beveled long hex and then a very interesting picket. So overall, again, shapes that are easy to cut, easy to install, uh, not too crazy, things that your customers can really use and, and you know, that would look very, very well as accent pieces. Next up, we have a collection called Foundation. You can actually look at Foundation as a, a cousin or a, a complement to our restoration line because it's exactly the same material. It's, it's glazed porcelain. And actually, Waterford mosaics are also glazed porcelain, but due to their finish, these are all glossy finish. Uh, they were not going to promote them as you know, suitable for flooring applications, even though they're, they can definitely be installed in low foot traffic areas, powder bathrooms, uh, you know, small rooms like that. They can definitely be used on floors, but uh, just to avoid any liability or any issues due to the fact that this is a clear glaze and it is a glossy finish, we're not going to promote them as, as floor items. So back to foundation, again, this is a complement to our current restoration line. Uh, glazed porcelain, we're doing two colors here, white and smoke, and we're doing two finishes, glossy and matte. Just as with restoration, the white and the smoke coordinate with our existing wall tile colors. So if somebody needs to do an installation using these products and they need coordinating trim pieces or they want to do a combined installation using some of our existing wall tile sizes, they can definitely do them uh, because these will coordinate with our white and our smoke. So the shapes that we chose here are two by uh, two inch hexagon, herringbone, and a nice two by six brick lay. Uh, on this, the two by six, the, the current standard would be the two by four, but we know that people are, are going longer in the rectangles nowadays, that that long rectangle shape is very popular. So we're happy to offer this uh, updated shape. And again, we looked at different shapes, but for the most part, we wanted things that were easy to cut, easy to install, and that we could provide at a very nice price point. And last but not least, uh, we have a nice collection of large format wall tile that we are calling Impression. This shows it better. Uh, four shapes or four different items that we're going to be offering. The size is 12 by 36, and these are all rectified wall tiles. Uh, we have what we're calling Sleek. This is just a flat punch, so think of but in a 12 by 36. And then we have a couple of uh, uh, relief pieces. We're calling one, the first one, origami, uh, blade. Yeah. Blade, right? And then wavy. So sleek is going to come in glossy and matte. Origami, blade, and wavy are only going to come in matte, and that's because when we were developing these, 
and we saw them in the glossy, they looked horrible. So sleek, glossy and matte, origami, blade, and wavy, only matte. And this is 12 by 36, rectified, wall tile, uh, all in white. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the marketing uh, support and launch for the glass and wall tile. Um, each individual series also will receive a display sample board. Uh, just did want to call out that for Brilliance, uh, we have separated this into two boards so that we could properly show the mosaic. So one board will show, of course, all of the glass tile and the, the back of the board will show images of all of the corresponding mosaics that go with each color. And then there will be a separate board that will show a piece of each mosaic in the white while showing chips of each color below to indicate that each of those mosaics come in all of the colors. So there will be two boards for Brilliance um, and one board for the remaining collections. Each board, each series will also get a design board, a postcard, and then Impression will receive the loose tile label that we discussed earlier and then we'll discuss in more detail later. So from a launch standpoint, the individual elements will be available at the same April, May timeframe. And the launch kit, we discussed uh, phase one. So phase two is April slash May. And then um, as far as the display updates, four boards will come out of the display in April and May. That's a shimmer and glass eek. Plus there's a backsplash decorative glass board and inner glass decorative board that have some changes. So they will come out um, to be updated. So you'll have eight boards going in in April or April, May. You'll have your Brilliance, the Mose Brilliance Mosaics, Foundation, Impression, Waterford Mosaics, as well as the two boards that we removed to be updated to go right back in. So what that does is leaves two open slots in the display that will be accommodated by the June launch with Gamut and Luminous. The one thing also to mention that I do not have a slide in here is the catalog is in process as well. So we do hope to have the catalog ready at some point in February or close, possibly closer to the end of February, but will definitely be available when all the new series launch and go into the displays. So that's the end of the um, launch portion of the webinar. We just want to touch base on some new marketing materials. You know, this, uh, probably in the past month or so, we did send out a communication regarding the new designer chip box. This is a box that is sold um, it's basically empty, so you buy the box by itself, and then you buy the blank chip cards separately, and then you can customize these for each of your customers. It holds roughly 20 to 22 samples, depending if you want to add stone or some wall tile in. If you add a wall, if you create a wall tile only box, you can fit a heck of a lot more in there. Um, the chips, the four by four samples that fit on the swatch cards are not inventoried at this time. That is something that you will need to cut and make at your branch um, or the customers would handle, um, mainly so that you can, it's easier for you to customize um, the, the needs or the selection that goes in the box for each of your customers. The great thing about the chip card is that you can use these for designer libraries that may have drawers, so you can order them separately and customize them with not only tile but mosaics as well. <clears throat> so as we mentioned earlier, and as a lot of you may remember, many years ago we had that red um, loose tile label that we have decided to bring back. Um, it does fold over the top so that regardless of how you're holding the sample, you, de you do get the product information. So the front of the label will provide the series name and a review of sizes and the icons for technical information. And then the back of the sample will have room scenes and panel images to show the variation, especially on those series that require it. They are now available for all existing tile collections. And we have a communication in the works to be, that will be sent out over the next few days that will provide you more details and the order information to obtain these labels. Also available 
um, is a tabletop display. It holds 13 samples. It's really geared more for Union Square and some of our wall tiler's smaller format options. It's configured to hold a four and a quarter up to a 16 inch tile. Um, I would maybe caution a little bit about using it too much for with a lot of the 16 inch, but it will definitely hold it comfortably. Um, but is, as you can see, more geared towards the smaller items. It is available as a display only, again, so that you can order and customize the samples as needed. A communication is also in the process with this, so stay tuned that it will be coming out uh, within the next few days. We also have in production a mosaic hanger display. Many of you have probably seen these in our showrooms. They will hold 10 of the mosaic hangers that you find in the mosaic display. This also will be available as a display only so that it can be customized. But the great thing about it is it can be used in conjunction with the tabletop display so you can showcase floor, I mean wall tile and some corresponding um, decorative items that can, um, would be great uh, choices to uh, install with. So this is in production. We're still quite a few weeks out on this, but as we get a confirmed availability date, we will send a communication with all of the relevant details. <clears throat> so I did want to touch base on the new board designs because they not only affect the new launches and the wood series that we discussed earlier, we will be transitioning most of our V3, V4 series over into this new concept board layout. So that means series like Burano and Amalfi Stone um, that have a lot of variation, you will start seeing this new concept board. Uh, uh, as we replenish individual inventory, it will roll over into this new look. All displays uh, that will ship out in 2019, the packout kits, will transition them into the new look as well. So as the individual board inventory rolls over, again, same caution as earlier, please be very selective as to what displays you want to update with these new, with these new concepts. It is not a 100% a um, rollout for all displays. It is really for those customers that you think are going to benefit mostly. And we will communicate with you as well which series will get the new concepts because not all of them will. Um, and we'll provide that information to you in a communication as well. So finally, just quickly, as far as 2019 display initiatives, as you've known over the past you know, three years, we've been very, very heavily focused on selling displays and placing them and replacing some of our old displays. And with over 3,000 displays in the field, we recognize we've, we've pretty much saturated all of the key areas um, and customers that we need to get the new display in. So the focus for 2019 will be updating and registering displays in the field. So aside from the launches, as you're visiting customers year-round, it's very critical to make sure that each of these displays, one, has all the newest boards in them and it's full with all the correct boards, but two, and most importantly, if those displays are not registered, please, please get them registered in the system. So that's a, that's a key focus for next year. And then finally, <clears throat> another focus in the summer will be updating the mosaic display. As with our mosaic line, our mosaic display is uh, in very much need of an update. And once all of the new glass tile and some of the other ceramic decoratives come in, and later we'll talk about stone, we will uh, update this display, which means A, there will be an update kit for displays in the field. We'll tell you which pieces to pull out and which to go in uh, or to accommodate the new entries that are going to go in the display. But then towards the end of the summer or the second half of the year, the display then will be shipped with a brand new update kit, or launch kit. So um, as we finalize those details and get that information um, validated as far as timing goes, we will communicate all of the details to you. So stay tuned for that information. So finally, just to wrap up, um, we have, have a phase launch. March will be floor tile from a marketing standpoint. April, May, wall and glass, and then the final two series in June. Both, um, all series will have full marketing support and the, uh, the launch for marketing aligns with those dates that we gave. We talked about new materials, check your email for communications, and we'll have more coming out in 2019. And be sure to focus on updating and registering displays in the field. 
and stay tuned for a Mosaic update in the summertime. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at any questions that were submitted throughout the, presenta throughout the presentation, and we have one. Um, and the request is for the presentation, and yes, not only will we send you all the PDF of this presentation, we will make the um, recorded version available to all of you. So with that said, we thank you all for your time today. Thank you very much, everybody. For those of you who are coming to the winter market, we very much look forward to seeing you there. Absolutely. So have a great day. Bye. Bye.